Hello, welcome to SMT call. Today we are going to solve the day 25 of August list code challenge. So today's problem name is minimum cost for tickets. So basically if you read the problem statement, it's saying that we will be given two input array, integer array. One is for the cost and another one for the number of days in which day I want to travel. So basically what what it, what they are saying here that, so suppose you, you went to a country and you need to visit for particular this day only, right? So at max you can visit total 365 days, right? So and and you can buy ticket in three. Uh, in, there are three kinds of tickets. So you can buy ticket for only one day. You can take pass or ticket for seven days, and you can take pass or ticket for whole 30 days, right? But we need to find the minimum cost. So in which second should we buy the ticket? So shall I suppose I am visiting here, right? I I am going to visit this day one first day, fourth day, sixth day, seven day, eight day. And, 20 days so shall I buy so if I buy ticket on the first day probably I buy ticket for whole month in that case our if I buy ticket for the first day in that case our cost will be 15 because one month ticket price is 15 you can do like this also right so I can uh, buy for the first day that will cost me 2 then I can buy for next 7 days that will cost me for another 7 so 2 plus 7 is 9 and for the last day I can buy again ticket for single day that will be 11 total right so that can be so that is the minimum one right so the, in this way we need to calculate or we can buy for suppose we can buy we have another option right we can buy each day single ticket so 2 2 2 2 2, two and okay so that will make it 12 right so we need to, we need to consider the minimum minimum cost so basically there can be multiple multiple combination right but we need to find a minimum combination so let's try to understand it more in more details and let's try to design one solution for the same so probably we are going to use uh, dynamic programming approach here. So basically we are going to for particular day. So, uh, so suppose uh, I am I, for the first day or first position, right? I am going to calculate minimum value and I'm, then I am later I am going to reuse those values. Okay. So you can check that this is our uh, array for days, right? So I want to visit on the first day, fourth day and this number of days. And this is the cost per first one day ticket. This is the cost for seven days ticket. And this is the cost for one month or 30 days ticket. So what we are going to do here? So we are going to take one uh, array um, uh, or that, that you can call it a DP array or something array, something else and its size it will start from 0 and it will uh, it, its size will be days plus, days length plus 1 right since for the first uh, 0 day it will be always 0 and it will till it will be till uh, position 6 right okay. So now we, we are going to for, uh, fill up this array for each and every day. So we are going to iterate. So we are going to we are going to start from zero and we will iterate for all these day, right? So we have total six days. We are going to visit six days. Okay. So we are going to calculate uh, minimum cost for each and every day. Okay. So at first suppose I am, I am here, right? One. So for this day, uh, initially I I can I can I have three options, right? I can buy seven days tickets. So if I buy seven days ticket for the first day, forget this right side portion, just consider this uh, this cell right one. So if I buy single day ticket for this day, my price will be two. If I buy seven days ticket, my price will be seven. If I buy one month ticket, my price will be 15. So what should I take? I should take two, right? So we are going to add two here. Okay. Now for suppose the next day, we will move, we will move to here for this position now. Right? So here again, I have three option. I can buy single ticket so I'll, my earlier price was 2 so if I buy single ticket it will be 2 plus 2 equal to 4 or I can buy 7 days tickets so suppose I buy uh, 7 days ticket right earlier so it will remain 7 or I can buy 1 month ticket it will remain 15 right so again we are going to choose 4 here because 4 is the minimum so using this we using like this in using this approach we can solve it and later we are going to return the minimum cost for last day. So basically we are reusing our previous solution whatever we are uh, calculated earlier, right? So let's write code for the same that will give you much better understanding and we will discuss it in more details while writing code, okay? So basically as I already told you, uh, we need one array uh, in which you DP array, you can say it and in, in which you are going to store the minimum uh, minimum cost for each and every day, okay? So dp in dp and its size should be new int and its size should be uh, days uh, days dot length plus one right since for the zero day it will be zero and let's initialize for zero day so for zero it, it will be initially zero okay so now what next 
I need to take two, uh, I will need two variable. You will understand why I am taking here. One is for calculating the weeks and another one initially it will be zero. Okay. And we need another variable for calculating, keep tracking the month because we can, I can visit value can, days value can be between one to 365, right? So for the first example, it's 20 is the maximum value, but it can be up to 365, right? We need to keep in mind that also for other test cases. So again, uh, one should be month and month should be initially also zero. Okay. So now what I need to do, I need to run one for loop. Okay. So I need to uh, fill up this DPR right for each and every day. Okay. So I will take one for loop and it will start from obviously zero and it will run till int i should be less than days dot length then i plus plus. Okay. What else? Uh, now we need to check, we need to consider two things, right? Uh, we need to take two while loop. I will explain you to why I am taking this. So at first, we are, we are going to take, uh, let me write the code first. So while my days week is less than days i minus 6 because in each and every week we have 7 days. So we will check for minus 6 days, okay? And if it is if it is matching this condition, if this condition returns true, then we are going to increment our week variable and else. And we need to check it similarly. We need to check it for month also. So days should be month less than days i minus. So for month we are going to one. 1 less day 30 minus 1 it's 29 and again in this case we are going to increment our month also right so i am going to explain it and uh, now let's move further i'm going so this for the, for the first example you will not be understand but for the second example it will be i will give another example that will clear this uh, why i am taking this while loop okay so now let's write the actual code so basically you need to consider three scenario for three cost right single day cost seven days cost and 30 days cost so uh, probably I will take one variable called mean and in this at first we are going to consider the probably single day cost and seven day cost whatever is minimum I am going to take that again after that we are going to cost uh, uh, take the minimum of that minimum cost and the month's minimum cost okay. So we can use inbuilt math.mean function and we need to check so suppose suppose I am buying for the single day right. So for buying for single day I need to consider previous day so it is initially it will be here right zero so it should be dp. It should be dp and it should be i plus the cost zero right cost zero is nothing but two days cost so it, it's always fixed right we will have three three types of cost either this one or we can consider the week one right so why we for week one what will be the cost it should be dp week so the variable we took right so initially it will be zero week and plus seven days cost okay so cost plus in this case it will be one right and whatever the minimum value we are going to take that after that we are going to actually update this field right this one so it should be dp i plus one and again it will, we will take minimum of math dot mean whatever the earlier minimum value it's mean and we need to consider for month wise also right so dp again it will be month and plus cost in this case it will be cost 2 right in the second position or third push, third position in the of the cost array we have this month value right so it will be like this only and let me write yes here and once we are done we are going to return this dp last value right so return it should be dp dp dot length minus one okay i think that's pretty much let's quickly run our code then we will try to analyze it and we, we are going to dry down it okay so let me fix this quickly there should be one semicolon okay i think it's give me expected answer let's submit it also and check whether it's accepted or not Okay, our solution is accepted. Okay, let's try to understand the code. Okay, let's try to do the dry run and that will surely give you much better. 
okay so suppose initially this is my array right initially uh, i will start from the day one right here one so in this case i as i already told you we have three option and we have two variable one is week variable it is initially zero and one is month variable right it is also zero so for day one i know that i can start from that day particular so month week will be in the zero position and month will be also zero position right then we will keep moving right so i will find okay for day one it should be two for day two it should be four like this whenever i will come here right again uh, so if i buy ticket on the first day that will be covered till six right so that we are using this value so suppose i am i am i am traveling on the sixth day so i can buy ticket on the first day right so it will it will be valid till one to seven right it's, it's ticket is for seven days so that we are keep we are taking this variable right so now whenever for seven days it will be okay right i can if i buy ticket on the first day i can still travel till seven day okay but suppose i am on eight day right in this case i cannot buy ticket on seven day right uh, first day right that will not be valid so i need to buy ticket to cover this eight day i need to buy ticket on the fourth day right so we need to slide we need to slide our uh, week window probably okay so first window is valid till one to seven okay that is first one but if you if you want to travel on eight and if you want to uh, buy ticket before seven days then we need to buy it on day four right on that day i'm visiting right so we are sliding the window so we are increasing the week value plus one okay so whenever we are going to calculate for that day suppose for we are calculating for eight day we are going to consider this value earlier calculated value four of the of that value so in the dpr right plus the seven days value right so this is how we are going to calculate so this is the this is the use of uh, this while while so this this is why we are using it so okay suppose i am on 20 day right so again 20 day i cannot buy ticket on fourth right so that's invalid because i can be so so for 20 day if i want to use my ticket so suppose i want to buy ticket seven days prior to day 20 so then i need to buy on day 13 right but my week is variable is pointing to four that's not a value right so if i buy ticket on four that will expire on the 11th right so again we will slide the window right so slide the week window and we will come to here it will point to here only right because so if i want to travel on 20 i need to buy ticket on the day 20 itself seven days ticket okay so if i buy on day eight it's not, it will not be valid right so similarly for month also right suppose i have this kind of example right so initially suppose i can I, I can calculate till 31st right so whenever i will come to 32 i need to buy ticket on here right so similar way we need to slide the window right so suppose we have uh, much more month right uh, so 30 67 68 so we need to slide the window for one month right so if you if you check the week here right so i can my first ticket is so suppose i buy ticket on the day one that ticket will be valid till day seven right so for day 8 i need to buy ticket on the day 2 right similarly for day 31 we need to buy ticket on day 31 itself because 31 minus 7 is what 31 minus 7 is 24 so 24 is, that day i am not traveling so i should not buy right so for that we are just sliding the window similarly for 32 also right so this is how we are uh, for this reason we are taking this while loop right so hope that will give you clear understanding why you are doing this and let's try to analyze the time complexity and space complexity also so basically we are using constant space so basically whatever the, our input size and we are going we are going to use that space right so we are using uh, constant space in this example and uh, for the space complex uh, time complexity also we are iterating through each day only once but we are sliding this uh, sliding this uh, uh, sliding this we can uh, day week and month value right so it will be more than order of n okay thanks thanks for watching if you like this video uh, please subscribe to our channel and please if you still have some doubt you can comment it out in the comment section thanks thanks for watching bye bye